Hey there, how are we doing gang? Happy Thursday to you wherever you are in the world. And today we're going to be doing a review of my, um, just moving back so I can show you it, my brand new Taylor Academy 12E N, 9 on strung guitar. And uh, I should be going through the specs and playing a little bit for you in a minute. I hope you can see that okay. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. Now, the Academy series um, is actually their entry level, um, entry level guitars for the beginner, if you like, or the students, um, or also for people who um, want to own a Taylor guitar but can't afford, obviously, to get into the 200 and 300 series levels. And what Taylor have actually done with this series is very, very clever to keep the cost down um, so that it's more available to. Uh, newer guitar players um, is they basically what they've done is they've done away with all the bling if you like they've got rid of things like the bindings there's no binding on it they've got rid of the fancy pearl inlays and bits and pieces like that um, and they've really just stripped it down to the fundamentals uh, without losing the playability or the sound uh, value of it um, and they I think personally they've done a fantastic job it really does bring it into um, a level where more people can afford to buy a tailor and own a tailor um, I'm very pleased I picked this up yesterday and uh, I'm over the moon with it I've been after a tailor for the last 12 months actually I've been looking at all the different models they've got um, I wanted to stick with nylon strung guitar because that's the mode I'm getting more into um, and so that's why I chose the uh, 12E uh, nylon. Uh, 12 uh, basically talks about the body shape. The, the, the 12 is the Academy 12 is a grand concert body size. I'm going to move back a little bit so I can show you more of the guitar, which uh, basically is the perfect sort of coffee shop, small bars, small concerts. It's very comfortable. Um, very comfortable for me I'm short uh, stocky build short arms and so the body size of the grand concert for me is uh, more of a classical size uh, guitar with a um, nice short length as well so it fits perfectly for me I'm going to go through the specifications first I'm then going to play a few tunes on it and let you hear the sounds uh, that it produces and I'm going to do that unplugged and plugged into um, the amplifier as well so you can hear the differences so let's go through the specs first working from the bodywork up um, start off with the top is a uh, solid spruce top it's um, actually Lutz spruce which is a um, if you like a hybrid between the Sitka spruce and the Engelman spruce it's um, a lovely tone perfectly toned for nylon strung guitars so you've got a solid Sitka spruce well, that's coupled with this beautiful I don't know if you can see that let me get that up there for you beautiful Sapelli back and sides now it's layered the back and sides are actually layered um, this keeps two things really firstly it keeps the cost down which is what they wanted to do with the Academy series, try and keep the, the entry cost down. But it also makes a very strong guitar um, by having a layered. What well, it's not, it's not like your plastic wood. It's it's proper Sapelli veneer on the inside. Then you have a popular filler, and then Sapelli veneer again on the outside. And this makes for a very very strong back and sides, without losing too much. Obviously, a solid wood back and sides is going to give you a slightly better tone and slightly better sound but this is um, gives you a perfect projection you'll also notice as well that if I show that there the back is slightly bowed there which adds to the strength and does improve slightly the projection of the sound as well you'll see when I play it later on but it also means they can do away with things like they don't have to have the actual um, supports running across there um, the bracing and everything like that there's only bracing on the top again keeping the cost down for the production and one of the other things you'll find with this is um, let's run I'll carry on with the specs first 
This is coupled obviously the joint there is the standard Taylor NT neck joint. So you have a perfect fit and perfect action. It's a mahogany neck, three piece. We have an ebony fretboard, ebony bridge. Okay, we have a new bone nut and a Mikata saddle. And it's all finished off at the top with obviously the black plastic cover on the truss rod. So there's a truss rod in there. We have the beautiful tailor shaped head with the tailor emblem on there and some lovely nickel tuners. And I've got to say they are absolutely fantastic. I'll try and get that in a bit closer if I can. They haven't skimped at all on the on the tuners. You normally find when you get into entry level, um, certainly with nylon strung guitars, the tuners tend to be where they cut the cost the most and Taylor have not gone that route. They've gone with some beautiful nickel tuners. They're beautiful Taylor nickel tuners there with the pearlescent buttons on there. Um, fantastic. I absolutely love it. I, I love this slotted headstock. That's one thing that I really wanted to go for. I love that classical look of the slotted headstock. It comes with a built-in tuner. So if I put that on there, you've got your built-in tuner, or slightly out of tune already. Like that. With the Taylor ESN preamp um, and under saddle pickup. Um, the N stands for it. It's, it's been obviously set up for nylon strings and you just have a nice little tone and volume switch on there, nice and simple. And the whole thing runs on two uh, watch style 2032 uh, batteries. And very easy to interchange, you've got no big things flopping off like that and a nice, very small cutout, I like that as well. I just love the colour of this, it's absolutely beautiful. One of the other things I also like, oh it does come already fitted with your strap buttons and obviously the input for the jack is also a strap button and it's very nicely fixed in with three tiny screws there. Setup as you would expect from a tailor is absolutely perfect. The neck is perfectly set up. The action on this is three millimeters on the base string at the 12th fret and about 2.8 I think it is on the nylon string at the 12th fret there. And all in all, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, that's really it with the specs. Um, they've obviously, there's no gloss finish. It's, I actually like this satin finish. And I do like the very, very basic clean look of this guitar. That's one of the things that attracted me to it in the first place. And lastly, what a little bonus on a, an entry level guitar is that armrest. You don't normally see those on uh, until you get into the higher price brackets and that just makes it so comfortable to play as you see your arm rests exactly on that point there and it just is beautiful to play i just love it so uh that said let's play it strung with um it comes out of the factory strung with the Dario pro art uh, carbon high tension nine uh, high tension strings um I will be doing a review, another review, um, with the, just about the strings, but I'm going to buy a new set because these, I think this guitar only picked it up yesterday. It's been in the shop there, I think, a month or two because these strings that are on it are slightly, are slightly tarnished, I noticed. So bear that in mind in a minute when we start playing it. Well, what's it sound like? That's the most important thing. Let's have a little listen. This is completely unplugged, not plugged in at all. This is the basic, if you like, the basic acoustic sound. And bear in mind, these are slightly rusty strings. We'll be able to hear the difference when I do the uh, string review later on this month when I change them. But let's just play a couple of things first and you can hear it. This is unplugged acoustic sound. Let's see what you think. Let's just carry on acoustically. A 
as you can see it's just rings out lovely now if you can imagine that with the brand new strings on it the sustain is beautiful finger picking is just absolutely marvelous with this guitar it's obviously it is designed for your coffee shop i would say for you perfect for coffee shops small venues weddings that sort of thing it's uh, a beautiful guitar for that. Finger picking strumming as well. As you can see, really rings out right across the range, very well balanced. with the dull strings on it so next month when I do a string review you'll be able to hear the difference I'm going to plug it in now and let you hear what it's what the actual amplifier on there is like so I've just got a, a little small amp here on the floor and this will give you some idea of a plugged in sound now I've got it basically set right in the middle tone I'll put it in the middle tone Slightly lower volume there. I don't know if you can hear the difference, that is just a lovely sound. I've set the amplifier up, the equalizer is set right down the middle, and I've just got a little bit of reverb on there. tone in the middle if we wind the tone right up to the top get a much more crisper sound with it and that really is the amplifiers on pretty much under half volume running and I've got the volume here at halfway set if we wind the tone right off we get a much more warmer sound we still get a lovely balance. And if we put it back into the middle, let's have the tone in the middle. Just a beautiful So again, lovely sound on there I'm over the moon with it. I just, I've just picked it up yesterday in the shop and I fell in love with this guitar. And um, I defy anybody to go out and play one of these and not, not bring it home with them. It's just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs>
say, it, it doesn't feel like a nylon string at all. If you're um, if you're used to steel strings or you're a steel string player, acoustic guitar player, and you're wanting to get into uh, nylon a nylon strung guitar, but you don't want to go for the massive two inch nut width of a, a standard classical with great big high action on it, uh, nylon strings, then you'll find the Taylor Academy 12E is the perfect solution for you. It's it's. Um, I didn't mention that the nut width on this is actually 48 millimeters, inch and seven eighths, 48 millimeter. So it's a little bit more narrow. It's got the beautiful uh, typical Taylor neck, high performance player neck there, and it's just lovely. I'll turn off that. There we go. That's the sound again with clean, no amplification. And there we go, bringing in the amplifier again. So there you have it, the Taylor Academy. I'm just switching off the amplifier. Taylor Academy 12E N for nylon strung. It's an absolute dream to play, and as well, as well comes with the nice, good, solid quality Taylor branded, obviously, gig bag with a nice pocket in the front, a deep pocket in the front, plenty of room for all your your books and music things there, and some really comfortable. I've been down to my um, guitar lessons today, and it's really, really comfortable to have on the back with that and a nice little hanging thing there as well if you want it so i hope you've enjoyed that um review as i said next week i'm going to well next week probably i'll probably use those strings now for another few weeks but i've got a concert coming up so i will be changing them soon when i put some new strings on there i shall be doing a, a full review of the uh the dario um pro art carbon high tension strings and um i'll put a link for you down the bottom when it's done and you can have a look at that. I'll also try and see if I can get a link there to the Taylor, um, to the Taylor website for you. Hope you've enjoyed the um, review of my brand new guitar. You'll be seeing me playing that a lot more in my country covers, and my country music covers, and acoustic guitar covers in the future. And uh, so I'll see you then. Hey, if you've got any questions, leave them for me in the comment section below. Please give me a thumbs up if you've uh, found this review useful and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of the future uh, reviews that I do or my country music and acoustic guitar covers and I'll see you then have a great day bye for now